Hey friends, welcome back to Big Nate's Whiskey Lounge. I am Nate, um, and today I'm going to be opening and reviewing Old Ezra 7-Year Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This is a barrel strength. Um, this is from Lux Row. Um, it was it was um, it was crafted from Lux, Lux Row. We distilled and aged in Kentucky, um, and it's bottled for Lux Row distillers. So they're they are um, an NDP non-distilling producer. We don't really know where it was actually um, distilled at. Um, if it's if a bottle says distilled in Indiana, there's a really good chance it came from MGP, but in Kentucky. It can be all over. Um, Barton, which makes 1792, uh, does make stuff for other people. It could be from them. It could be from any name, any number of Kentucky distilleries. So we just don't know. Um, so this is Old Ezra, aged seven years. I do have the original Old Ezra behind me um, that I have not opened yet. I might do a side by side with these, but obviously this being a barrel strength. It comes in at 58.5% ABV, which is 117 proof. Um, this does say it is charcoal mellow, which is actually similar to like the Tennessee um, process, but aged a minimum of seven years. Remember, aging on a bottle means minimum a year, uh, the youngest barrel used. Um, and so the color on this in the bottle is really cool. I do got to be honest with you guys, this is another bottle that I overpaid on. So I'll admit to you guys, I typically like to tell you how much I paid on things. Um, I do, and price is a little bit subjective, but it's more or less regional and relative, you know. So I paid $100, $99.99 for this bottle. Um, I've seen people pay $50 for it. Some people might have paid lower, but I've seen people pay $49.99 for it. I do a lot of my kind of comparisons on the Booze app. So if you don't know about that, go uh, check out the Booze app. Um, I found that reference from um, my drinking buddy, who's also another um, YouTube channel. Check him out. He's really cool. Um, but he uses it, and what it lets you do is it, it builds your bar. You put in what you paid for it. It asks you whether or not you feel a specific price is fair or not. Um, and whether or not you say yes or no determines whether or not that fair price goes up and down. So it kind of lets people know, hey, this is what I paid for it. This is what everybody else is paying for it. And you can add, build your bar, um, and then at the same time also see what other people are paying. So maybe you pass on a bottle or two, or maybe you know that you got a steal. Um, so I paid $100 for this, and on the booze app, fair price is $72. Um, so but that's okay. Um, I wanted it. I've. I've, after I bought it, so I got to be a little more patient with some of my buys. Um, after I bought it, I was like, ooh, that's the first time I've seen it. It's at this very small liquor store. So I was like, if they have it, maybe nobody else does. I don't know why I thought that. So I bought it, but I did want to support local. And then I've seen it at a few others more reasonably priced. Um, so like $20 cheaper or something like that. But that's okay. Um, sorry, that was my coin uh, going down. Um, so I believe this video is going to come out probably the week after Christmas. I have a video coming out on the 28th, I believe, that I'm excited about. That would be the Redwood Empire, the Bottle and Bond Rye and Bourbon. This might come out that week or it might come out after the New Year. Um, so I don't know because I might do a New Year's shoot for that later that week. So this actually will probably come out within the first week of January. Um, but for... Day 16, 17, and 18 of my advent calendar, I was showing off the coins that I, and maybe some of the glassware that I've been using. So this is a Crowded Barrel Glen Cairn. Crowded Barrel, which is the distillery that is crowdfunded by the Whiskey Tribe. Whiskey Tribe was my entry into the Whiskey Tube community and really into my whiskey journey. So I have a lot to credit them for. Um, and so I have their, their one of their, they also have two other, I have another one of their um, Glen Cairns that says Magnificent Bastard with a arrow pointing up. And then I have a couple of their coins. This one is specifically the Whiskey Tribe coin. Um, on it, it says, um, Magnificent Bastards of the World Unite in Celebration of Whiskey and Adventures. Probably should say shenanigans. And then on the back, it, it's you're not going to be able to see it probably, but it's got a bear as well as an eagle, which are, the bear is Daniel's spirit animal, 
and the eagle is Rex's spirit animal. Um, so let's give this a shot. Let's get this open here. Matt Porter. That was an awesome cork pop. You know, so shout out to Matt Porter of ADHD Whiskey. Um, as I'm shooting this video, this is December 8th. Um, Matt Porter is driving his family all the way from Colorado to Kentucky to Bardstown. Bardstown, I don't know if it's because of the World's Top Whiskey Taster competition. He won it the first year, which means that he will be forever. Just like Kelly Clarkson is the American Idol, Matt Porter will be the World's Top Whiskey Taster. Doesn't matter who else wins. He was the original. He's the only. All hail Matt Porter. Um, but he's on the way now. I wonder if it's because he was going to do his blend with them, which he unfortunately had to miss out on due to sickness a couple months ago. Um, but he might be doing that, or he might be going to be a part of the whiskey of the that that competition. Um, so I don't think he's competing, but he might be there because he won the original and he's awesome. This on the nose does not hit at 117 proof. I'm kind of digging for a nose. Oakiness. I wonder if the charcoal melon kind of eased out the uh, the woodiness of it. Um, really nice color. Really nice clear copper color. Um, sweetness. A touch of corn dustiness. I really like the labeling too on that. That's really cool. And perfumey. If you hear that banging, I'm sorry. Um, that would be my cat. He's using his litter box and he likes to bang on the sides of it when he's done, um, which is right behind me. So, well, on the other side of the wall, rather. Proof is in the is in the pour down the hatch rather. Proof is in the pour down the hatch. It's a clinger. Good finish on it. Long finish. Still tasting it. Oak, vanilla, a little bit of cherry. Classic bourbon. Classic bourbon notes. Um, happy to have this bottle in my collection. Yeah, it doesn't hit, the ethanol doesn't hit the nose, but it definitely does on the palate. It's really good. That's a really good pour. I don't see myself. I'm not a huge just drink barrel strength every day. I know a lot of you guys are. Cheers to you for that. I usually don't go for that all the time. Um, if I do, it's usually like later in the night. Maybe sometimes it's my first pour if I'm going to be drinking just one thing. I'll kind of milk out a barrel strength pour. Um, but I usually go for lower proof on my initial pour. But really nice color on that. I'm really liking this. So again, I'm shooting this video before Christmas, but it's going to come out after Christmas. It's probably going to come in the week between Christmas and New Year's, I think. I've, I've decided it's going to come out probably, nope, it's going to come out after January. So probably the week of January, first, you know, third, fourth, or fifth, something like that. Um, so hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas. Hope you guys are, um, the New Year's upon us. Um, not a huge resolution guy. I, I like the spirit of them, but I think they can be a little tacky. However, I do like taking a moment to think back on the year that was, the year we wish it had been, the year that we want, it, we want to be next year. Um, do something great this year. Um, you know, I have a goal in my, in my mind of there's a goal that I want to achieve in a couple of years, and part of that goal does pertain to, um, is going to require me to get in shape and lose some weight. Um, so while my, my uh, New Year's goal isn't going to be, oh, lose weight, 
my uh, New Year's resolution, if you will, would be to just change some of my lifestyle in order to put myself on that path. Um, so, um, hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you're, uh, whether you're working, whether you're just chilling out, I don't know what you're doing. Um, just know that I'd like to be with you. Um, I'm with you in spirit. I'm with you through the glass. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.